In my last two videos, I looked at how many Godskin Nobles and Demi-Humans it would take to beat Elden Ring. And I chose the Godskin Noble because, oh boy, he thick. And I chose the Demi-Humans because apes together strong. On the ape video, someone commented I should do the same with birds. And that got me thinking of that really bad Birdemic movie from like 10 years ago. Yeah, it was absolutely atrocious. So anyway, I decided to recreate that, but in Elden Ring. So here are the rules of the run. I start with the stock Warhawk Ashes plus 10, and challenge each of the story bosses of the game in order. Each time the Warhawk fails to kill a boss, I will add another bird to the team and try the boss again. Repeating this process until the birds have killed the Elden Beast and become Elden Lord. Finally, I'll be alternating between adding more Warhawks and Stormhawk Deans to give the flock some variety. With that, let's get into it. As always, the run starts with Margit the Fell Omen. And I'm not going to show the whole fight for the early game, because frankly, our bird is pooping on the bosses. You can see here the Warhawk is over half health and Margit's almost dead. I thought we would need like a massive flock of birds to beat this game by the end of it, but I may have vastly underestimated them. Next up is Godric, and our one burb was able to take him down. It looks a lot closer than it is. Godric got a couple lucky stun locks on him near the end. It was never really in doubt. I decided to do Renala as our second great rune because she's frankly the easiest among the remaining great runes. And that requires first fighting Renala's dog. And you can see here our bird is whooping his butt in some serious pet on pet violence. Going into the Renala fight, I was sure I was going to have to add more birds here. But as you can see, that was not the case. Our one Warhawk is absolutely shitting on her. Like over half health and she's nearly dead and he ends the fight at almost half health, which is insane. These birds are way stronger than I ever expected. I didn't feel like getting the Dectus Medallion, so that means we have to fight Magma Worm Makar next. And this is where things finally start to get interesting. Uh, the Magma Worm was too much for our one Warhawk to handle, so we're gonna have to add another. With this attempt, we've added our first Stormhawk Dean. And he has a fun little uh, move where he screeches and buffs himself and his allies in damage and poise damage and things like that. And it helps the birds out a lot in the rest of this run, and you'll see that. This ended up being a close fight, but in the end the birds pull through, and that moves us on to the Altus Plateau, where we challenge the Draconic Tree Sentinel. And unfortunately, our two birds were vanquished by him on their first attempt. Um, apparently the Pokemon logic of electric beats flying applies here, so we're going to have to try it again with more birds. Here's the next attempt with three birds, and uh, you'll see here they really know how to work as a gank squad.
it ended up being a very close fight as that lightning was devastating, but our one remaining bird pulled through. Next up is the Godfrey Golden Shade, and the birds pretty much bully him here, so I'll spare him the dishonor of showing the whole fight, but you can watch them as they finish him off here. Next up is Morgan. Will he finally be able to win one of these fights? Yes, actually he was. His phase change AoE devastated them, killing two of them, and he was able to finish off the third. So we come back with now four birds and give it another shot. They actually somehow stunned him out of his phase change explosion just there. I'm not sure how they did it, but it really saved them a lot of HP. They got a little lucky with that phase change stun lock, but ultimately they were able to take down the Omen King. Which brings up the next boss in the story, the Fire Giant. And you know if you've seen any other videos like this that the Fire Giant with his 43,000 HP and massive AoEs is a huge problem for these runs. The four birds were almost able to get him to phase two though, which is surprising. Adding two more birds this time, they were able to get him to phase two, but it still wasn't really that close. And again, Adding two more birds did make the fight a lot closer, but ultimately the fire giant was able to cook our flock to a crisp. Finally, adding two more birds to make ten, I got this attempt.
And so, a super ancient godlike being meets his end when a ten birds peck at his ankles and thighs. How fitting. And defeating him gives us the ability to burn our waifu for some reason. And that takes us to Ferum Azula, where we challenge the godskin duo. And frankly, our birds absolutely bully the godskin duo. It's always good to see everyone's most hated chub and chaser couple get bullied. Next up is Malakath, and unfortunately for him, he has too little HP to deal with our flock. Take a look. With Malekith dead, that brings us to Gideon Offnir. We'll see if his big brain can vanquish our bird brain. Nope, he got absolutely eaten alive. Next up is Godfrey, non-golden version. Let's see if he can kill all of our birds. A very close fight. One more good stomp on them and he would have had them. But our birds pulled it out. And that brings us to the final boss in the game. Radagon Elden Bees. The first Radagon attempt wasn't too interesting. They pretty much just swarmed him. As you can see, they're being pretty relentless back there. And they managed to make it to Elden Bees with a pretty good amount of HP. So we'll see what happens. I would just like to point out how amazing the RNG the birds are getting here is. Under normal circumstances, he would have swam away and done the ring explodey attack, but he just keeps wailing on them with the sword, which is amazing for them. I wish I would have gotten this RNG 
about 50 attempts into my rune level 1 run, and that would have saved me hours of my life. This, they don't deserve this. No Elden Stars, no ring attack. I didn't even know that was possible. Did he forget to phase two? What even happened here? So there you have it. It takes only 10 birds to beat Elden Ring, which is insanely low. I expected way more. I'm mad at the birds for getting such good RNG, so I took them to Melania for punishment. And uh, actually, oh, they're doing pretty decent. They might actually get her to phase two with just ten. Oh wait, never mind. Waterfowl healed her to full. It ended up taking thirteen birds to actually take her down fully. Take a look. As always, thanks for watching. I've made a couple other videos like this and they both did far better than I expected them to and I'm grateful for all of that. Thank you for watching and if you've made it this far consider leaving a like and subscribing. Or maybe even comment what you think I should do next in this series because a lot of people have commented with good ideas and I think a lot of them would be fun to make.